We're standing by here with uh, Eric Henske. Eric, you've served a lot of different roles on your different travels through the different teams, but this year, a new role, Fantasy Football League Commissioner. <laughs> yeah, we play fantasy football. Uh, it's, it's good for the team, you know, it gets your mind off of baseball. It gets everybody kind of uh, making fun of each other, talking a little smack on the message board. So uh, it's taking the clubhouse by storm right now. That's all we can talk about. So we're having fun with it. <laughs> now, did you get roped into commissioner or do you volunteer here? Well, I, I was in a, I'm in a couple fantasy leagues, and I know one of the guys at CBS Sports Line, and uh, he cooked the league up for us, so I didn't have to pay to get in. So I think that's why they, uh, that's why they made me the commissioner. <laughs> have you had the draft yet? No, it's uh, August 30th. After our day game in New York, we're flying to Baltimore, and then we're going to have it there in the hotel. All right. Now you've sized up the teams, probably. Who's the ringer of the group? Who you got to watch out for? Me. <laughs> All right. Outside of you. <laughs> um, let me see. I don't know. Um, Sabathia, he's being quiet about it. So, you know, usually the guy that's not saying much is you got to watch for it. But, you know, guys like Harrison talking all this smack, I, I think he's going to lose right away. Is that the guy? Yeah. There always seems to be one guy who's the ringer, and then there's one guy who you know is in trouble right from the back. Yeah, Harrison, he's in trouble right away. And Swish, Swisher, you know, he, <laughs> he, he don't ever be quiet. He never shuts up. So he's going to be in trouble. You can find out his draft plans pretty quickly. Easily. You just, you just get in there a little bit, and you'll be in his head the whole week. Now, you are a Packer fan, right? Yeah. Now, obviously, big news yesterday, Brett Favre. What's your take? Emotional for me, yeah, pretty much, to say the least. Um, you know, he's all I knew since being in eighth grade. So, um, you know, it was, it was hard for me even for him to go to the Jets last year. And uh, now he's going to be playing the division, playing against the Packers. I don't know. I, you know, if I was him, I'd play too. You know, you don't, you don't ever want to quit. So can't fault him for that. I just don't want him to beat the Packers. Right. <laughs> now, now, when you last year on the Jets, were you still pulling for him even though he wasn't playing? Your team? Yeah, definitely. You know, he's, he's been my favorite player my whole life. So, um, you know, he's a... Uh, He's a, to me, he's the best quarterback ever, so I, I, want to, I, I want him to keep playing. Does it seem like 20 years that he's been playing? I know. That means I'm getting old now. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it does, I guess. Um, I think 91 or 92 was his first year, so, yeah, 20 years. Crazy. Now, how about your transition to this team? You talk about the fantasy football, getting everybody involved. Has it been a smooth transition for you? I think so. I, I mean, I played in the division for seven years before this, so I knew a lot of these guys just playing against them. And, but now being in the clubhouse with them, I uh, get to know who they are, what, what they are like as people, and it's going pretty well for me. I'm having a good time. Everything's now you, cool. Now, you changed teams before. Is it more difficult during the season to make that transition to a new team? I think so because you don't have spring training, and it's, it, it, it is a little more tough. But you just, uh, you just uh, come in, be yourself, and hopefully things work out. How do you feel your role is with this team? Uh, you were with Pittsburgh. You kind of anticipate playing there every day. Didn't exactly work out. What happened when you found out you were going to the Yankees? What was your reaction there? Yeah, I was excited. You know, I I wasn't having a good time in Pittsburgh, so I basically ran to the plane, didn't even pack, and <laughs> was uh, excited. It's an honor to wear the pinstripes. So, you know, I'd be lying if I said I never wanted to play for the Yankees. And uh, I'm real excited to be here. Now, has Joe talked to you about your role here? You know, a little corner outfield, a little bit infield too. Have you? You comfortable with that role? Yeah, you know, he just said whatever, wh whenever they need me to get, give a, give a guy a day off, or if I have to pinch hit or go in there and give somebody a rest late in the game, uh, that's that's what I'm going to do. But he's done he's done a good job of getting getting me in there a couple times a week since I've been here. So just trying to help the team win. Now, guys sometimes struggle with that role, not getting regular at bats, but you seem to kind of flourish in it. Is there something? Is there a trick to it? Is there something secret? I think you just have to be put in the situation. You have to kind of learn how to do it first. And uh, if you have some success with it, you, you kind, of, kind of treat it like a closer, to be honest with you. Like, if, if it doesn't work out that day, you know, get, get him the next day. You can't really think about it and just get too down on yourself. Just go out there, do the best you can, do something, something that day to help the team win is what they're looking for. Now, you also be able to have some fun on the bench with last night with Melky's play at the plate there when he got hit by that pitch. Safe to say he picked the right career, no ballerina for him? Yeah, I think he should stick to baseball. <laughs> we were getting on him. You know, he looked, uh, he looked uh, like it hurt. Hit him in the back with a breaking ball. So uh, we were laughing. We had a good time. Now, I have to ask you about this. Two years ago, Boston. Last year, Tampa. World Series both years. Clearly, it's just you. You just get you, and that, that's all it takes, right? I mean, maybe that'll keep me around for a couple more <laughs> years. You know, I just uh, I can't explain it really. Uh, it was kind of a wild ride last year with Tampa because they weren't that good in the past. But you know, it's been fun, and I hope uh, I hope I'm the good luck charm. We go to the World Series.